Dun, 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 Hello guys, today we've got Iron Man from the Lego Superheroes Marvel line for you, for us to review. So, here's the box. Obviously we've got Lego Superheroes Marvel logo up there. Iron Man floating over the seas. Uh, daybreak it looks like. And, uh, the Avengers Iron Man down there. Ages and set number two, of course. Same stuff up here. Ad quick little uh, advertisement for the uh, ball and socket system. Uh, friction joint for bigger building. Nice uh, alternate mode of Iron Man there. And a combo with him and Captain America, which makes some sort of ultra Iron Man or whatever. So, here's the instructions. The images on the front are the same, obviously. Uh, inside comic there. Looks like uh, different graphics to the DC ones with less dialogue. Well, actually, no dialogue. There it is. Uh, you can see silhouettes of all three Marvel Ultra Builds heads along the side of most of the pages here. See? Goes to page 21. Nice assortment of pieces there Hulk, Captain America, uh, the combo model again. Hero Factory, uh, Summer 2012, Stringer, Voltix, Bulk, Core Hunter. That's pretty cool. And the system set. It's normal ads there. And that's the instructions. Hmm. I quite like those ads for the uh, Summer Hero Factory line. Pretty cool. Here you are, Iron Man. <laughs> but yes, Iron Man, here he is. Um, firstly, building experience, just go along with my uh, normal routine for reviews, I guess. So, building experience. For this guy, it wasn't too exciting. I mean, we've had this system for, well, let's think, over a year now, really, since uh, winter 2011. But over, hun over 100 sets were produced with the old system, so it's not exactly a complaint. But the build itself, even with the new system, isn't too complicated. I mean, it's a bit generic, not too original, but uh, there's some nice parts, and there is a lot of nice parts here. It's always good to build a figure like this, especially when it's quite buff, which means there uh, got to be a decent amount of parts in here. There's a few okay designs, like this uh, plasma cannon or whatever is up here, a laser shooter. I'm not a huge Iron Man fan, so uh, you can tell me in the comments what that is, if you know, like the official name. I did watch uh, Iron Man and Iron Man 2 from 2008 and 2010, though. Uh, pretty good movies, and the Avengers looks very good as well. But uh, enough about that. Back to this figure. So yes, building experience wasn't too original or um, inventive. It's a bit generic, but uh, with some nice pieces, a few okay uh, constructs, and some, uh, well, some definitely some bulky parts to this guy. It was It was okay, I guess. So, why am I taking him away? Ah, meant to be taking the parts away. Well, here we've got the new friction joint on the legs. Uh, you've probably seen this before, but uh, quite simple designed. Uh, simply designed, I mean, of course. Uh, the new upper leg piece in dark grey. We have seen this earlier in the year, but uh, it's still kind of new. It's still in the winter slash spring uh, period of the year. So I'm still going to count it as new. Everything else we have seen before. Uh, these plates we also got a few months ago in the Hero Factory line, Inferno, recolored into red. But uh, again, you've probably seen those before as well. So, body. This is also a recolor, I guess you could say. I mean, it's we did get this Inferno, but with some flame printing, it's just plain red, new chess piece. So that's pretty cool. And we've got a Black Phantom or Winter 2012, uh, kind of a chest, well it's a real chest player, it just goes right over the top of the chest, the, the main bulk of the chest, and uh, it's got the Iron Man uh, core printing. Uh, what's the actual name for his uh, power source in the middle there? The source? No, yeah, I can't remember. Tell me that as well, again. I forget things regarding Iron Man. But uh, here's the head. Unfortunately, it can't flip up to reveal Tony Stark or whatever. But uh, nice metallic gold at the front there. Still a nice piece. 
look at the arms quickly. We've got more of those grey, dark grey bone pieces. And more of these chest plates go just on there. We've also got an engine cap piece in gold. That is a very nice recolor. Very almost majestic looking. That's just awesome. But uh, the only problem is if I just snap this off again, it can't actually go on properly. If you can see there that the hole you know, you can't actually squeeze in there properly. There's a space in the hole because it can't actually go in. So slightly annoying. Don't know if Lego actually noticed that. But uh on the back, we've seen all this before. Apart from this uh, ammo holster or ammo belt, and uh, probably in a, like, a proper name for this as well, if you could tell me that, you know. Always contributing, you guys. Uh, <laughs> we've got a three long plate, which we also saw in Rocker, as well as this actually, from the breakout line in gold. And new for this guy though, we've got a engine piece from winter 2011 in gold. That's just very nice looking. It's almost on par I think with the transparent orange one. That is pretty cool as well. But uh, Speaking of transparency, we've got a transparent, uh, I wouldn't say light blue, it's more of a teal kind of colour. Uh, I'd say kind of laser holster here I guess because I don't know the official name for this piece, it kind of just holds blasts coming out of, of cannon or a gun. But we've got the classic lightsaber pieces here, so it's not exactly new. So, that's just about it for parts, I think, I'm pretty sure. So, lastly, playability. Obviously, with the new building system, it allows for a lot. Or the current building system, I should say. It's not exactly new. Again, we've had it for over a year. But, uh, everything can move. The head can go 360. The cannon can be positioned very really well. The arms can be put into almost any position. Oh, it's a little bit squeaky. I only opened this guy like half an hour ago. Looks like he's ready to fight now. <laughs> oh, and his armor fell off. But, uh. Iron Man. A somewhat generic build, but still a very good figure, in my opinion. I would recommend him. Like I said just now, actually, he's not that original or inventive, really, but the overall look, just the, the sheer bulkiness of this figure, and, of course, the nice pieces, really make up for that, in my opinion. I think I said this earlier also, many people have been hyped up for this guy, I think, compared to some of the other Ultra Build sets, so I would recommend him. Uh, he's got some nice pieces, an okay overall look, the design isn't top-notch, some bits are, but not overall, really. But everything else is just fine, so I would recommend him. So, bye guys.